Valerie Ite has 20 years' experience in developing brands through digital media. Over the last 15 years, Valerie has applied the UN's Sustainable Development Goals to pursue a better world through the field of technology. Valerie is the founding CEO of Clique Recyclable, which aims to educate and develop recycling programs that move the world towards a circular economy. Her passion is to support brands and business performance and leverage technology and digital innovation to accelerate transformation. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Thank you, Daxita, for your great presentation also, because you give really nice uh, data, as um, just get mentioned. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm French, so I hope that everybody will uh, understand my accent in English. Um, well, today I'm going to speak about what tech is doing in the climate action, because uh, as uh, we were saying, I think that we are in the last time of doing something. Uh, I will take an example. Uh, one week ago, uh, I'm from France in Bordeaux, and uh, in all the winard, we have to put some candle, okay, because the, um, it was so cold the temperature was so cold that it just break out all the wind art. So we have to put a lot of candle everywhere. And three days after, it was 25 degrees, okay? People always uh, listen to climate change that it's, oh, we, we hear it, we wear it, but we don't uh, take it seriously that it's now or never. So as Daxita say, and as the IPC also told us, it's really now, and uh, we really have to make action and to spread the word uh, every time that we could, okay? So um, I just get uh, presented. Uh, I'm Valerie. Uh, I've made like 20 years of technology experience. I start in uh, uh, internet providers, the same as Yahoo, Wanadu, and the OO, uh, where we try to make uh, all internet as a website, OK? And after we change it in mobile, um, mobile is very, very important in how we can enable a change in technology uh, and more for developing country like like Africa, for example. Okay, so uh, now uh, I stop uh, working for technology and I built a little startup. The name is Click Recycle. This company aim to uh, focus in giving and spread the word, making some cleanup and uh, action with art, changing some um, some uh, object and try to repair and spreading word. But also, I'm also recuperating air uh, in the way to take this new material because materials are going to be key also in, um, in innovation and, and getting some solution. Uh, so by the way, what is doing a click recycle is only building some recycling program just to get this. Um, there is like um, a circular economy, you know, that we need to move to circular economy instead of linear ones. And we have like nine air. Nine air means that you have to reduce, as we were speaking before, and recycling and rethinking. And all this time, it's like nine air that we need to get employed in all the production to succeed of uh, going to a net zero. Okay. Um, here, what uh, I will say, it's a really uh, a code rate for the humanity. Um, climate change is widespread, rapid, and interfacing. We can see it in Australia and in other uh, countries that it was very important. Um, I will not repeat what Daxita was saying about the intervention panel of climate change in United Buddy, but it's very important that now all scientists are saying that it's very important and also for health, okay? Because we always speak about energy and, uh, and um, as a way of to get that, but where we could arm a lot, it's in... Um, the fact of health for human and also for all um, uh, living uh, species in Earth. Um, we have six different categories that I'm going to speak with you about technology, okay? So um, as we can change the climate change really and making some effort, we can do it in transport and city, we can do it with energy, we can do it in agriculture, 
We can do it in construction architecture, we can do it in health and also in manufacturing. Okay, that's the six key um, uh, elements where we need to work uh, as a society and uh, as human beings. Um, starting with um, Starting with uh, mobility and transport, it's very important. Why? Because the augmentation of efficiency in engine, in design or material, as I was I say, is very important to uh, succeed, uh, to have a better uh, health and hair all around. Okay. Uh, process in, uh, for example, when we took for cars, we know that is electric vehicle but also micromobility vehicles. I'm sure that in all cities that are listening today, uh, you will see that we are focusing with bike, for example, for logistics, uh, that is very better for city, for smart city, for example. So infrastructure, uh, the infrastructure used to propagate this technology is also uh, some new technology or uh, startups that are like car ownership model, like blah, blah cars. I don't know which one you have in Australia for example, or also where you can share some cars, so you rent it, or also with bicycle, which is the same. It's very important to have this movement uh, just to stop uh, putting some petrol into cars, but we have also in ships, which is very important, and in trucks that we need to find some new infrastructure and also electric system. Uh, progress in the battery also of this technology for mobility application is very important because without this, we cannot have it in electric way. So uh, uh, all efficiency in transport system is very important, the ability of battery of all this system. Um, we need to succeed also to have some sensors. Sensors are very important in technology, way of picking. A step forward to maintain and repair your band planning and design. Uh, sensor can bring us some data pollution, for example, by the solar system. In a smart city, what you can have is like a solar system hub in the city that get data of the traffic of cars in the city. So we can know the data of the pollution that we have uh, in the city. So they are always helping a lot for data. Um, the environment technology is known as direct air capture DAC, and the process of capturing a carbon dioxide directly from the ambient air and generating in a concentrated stream of CO2 in sequestration or utilization. So in mobility and transportation, it's what we are going to work uh, better, which is all data sensor and try to, uh, to limit it or make an adaptation, I will say. Um, of climate change. The second one, the second that we will speak and that Daxita speak very well also, it's a smart energy. Uh, as I said, in transport, we are using this solar energy. Energy is uh, everywhere in wh where we are living. So uh, in technology, we will look at alternative fuel production, for example, or development or distribution. Uh, afford, affordable solar power for all, for example, uh, a, a Bordeaux a startup named Moon in Africa is making a little solar that work with mobile. And like this, you can uh, get some uh, energy to read or uh, to have some content for inclusion for children in an, a non-grid area in Africa, which is very important. And you can succeed this with solar power. So uh, this kind of technology is very, very important important. And uh, when we are speaking about technology is because you have the solar and from the solar, you have the mobile and with the mobile, you can drive energy getting from and get some inclusion in digitalization, for example. So it's a kind of a technology that is very important for climate change because you don't need something else to get this energy in this long way area in Africa, for example. Uh, measuring and support proliferation or renewable uh, energy, which is also including the storage of it because it's something that is very important, the so storage, but also the supplied and demand of it and to succeed to bring it 
in time to the person. Measure increase efficiency of energy uh, sector of energy is really get up and that's the only way that we can reduce and associate GAC emission. So um, controlling smart energy um, with technology, something that is very important today. So what we will say, for example, in smart energy, um, I will say that the more sensor technology as a huge part uh, in positive impact uh, for the climate in the tech environment um, is one of the key for getting data to know uh, where we are and also the examples that Daxita were uh, uh, explaining about NG doing. Um, they were make control of data with a French company. You need to control of this data to know how to adapt yourself or the company or uh, the way of doing um, to make successful uh, impact in the, the climate change. Um, another one which is very important is for food. As you may know, food, it's uh, where we are losing more than 76% of food are just lost. Uh, so we really have a, a problem in this, but not only in how we are consuming, but also the production method that we are using. So today, uh, we have a lot of new startup. One is my favorite is La Walibio. They are making uh, some new way of trying to find a solution of this um, um, carbon intensive, okay? So uh, how we can do that is to find, for example, new way of doing things. So in the uh, replace carbon intensive animate based products, okay, that's the one that is Alibio, where you will change the way of consuming and to make a new kind of food, for example. But also where we can make a lot of new, uh, better things how we are using, it's in farming pr practice, okay, that we can uh, um, improve efficiency and reduce carbon emissions, such as prevision in farming. I uh, will say we go back to data, data is very important because if you know the prevision of farming, you will know how to make a better efficiency of how we are making farming. Uh, but we are also making vertical farming to get more uh, CO2 uh, into, and we are using a lot of intelligence artificial, okay, which is also something very important in technology. I will say sensors, now we will say data, after we will say EA which is very important in how we are using it and even with mobile to get the data. After we will say that the management and modification of natural environment, we need to adapt because we are in a step that we cannot uh, uh, go back where we were. We need to adapt and get it better, okay? But we cannot uh, avoid where we are uh, already. So uh, we have to make a management and modification of natural environment, in particular crowd uh, refor reforestation, as uh, Daxita was uh, putting also a great example of man ma uh, mangrove, which is very important, but there is others that are doing in Latin America, for example, uh, afforestation also, and uh, to avoid deforestation because we need it to capture all CO2. But we are also have some new things in regenerative uh, agriculture. So in this, you have uh, different things uh, that use technology, but also uh, get back on the past for regenerative, like uh, peri-regenerative uh, agriculture also. So it's very important to move and manage all this data for nature. And the regenerative agri agriculture is the only way that we can make it better. Um, we make a land management also, it's very important, not only in one place, because for me, local is global. So we need to act as local, but we need to think globally. So that's very important uh, to save how uh, our planet is facing uh, climate change. Uh, you have the regenerative crops also, which is very important. You know that you, when you have uh, 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 agriculture, you can put something crop and after make another one, which needs the regenerative one. So it's some lot of new startup working in this uh, technology to help uh, making a better uh, climate change and impact on it uh, because agriculture is has a very harmful impact in uh, the climate change. 
any uh, activity associated with a reduction of IG emission for the supply chain is also very important. We need to make innovation in package. I was speaking about um, materials. Materials is very important because we need to avoid plastic. Plastic uh, get very harmful in every place in ocean and in land. Uh, so we have a, new, a, a lot of new law that try to stop uh, to use uh, plastic. So it's very important that we try to find a new solution uh, of avoiding this uh, plastic. In uh, packaging, we have a lot of uh, bioplastic uh, way of doing uh, new things, and there is a lot of startup working in this material to avoid all this uh, plastic. So we know now that is key in the fight against food loss and wastage uh, uh, to have a new package and suitable package for it. Uh, however, uh, despite all of this improvement, companies have to keep constant eyes on process efficiency and cost. Why well, I'm saying that? Because uh, it's very great to make a bioplastic, but as you know, uh, we need to find efficiency and cost because sometimes we are valorating uh, some new way of doing a material, but it will cost a lot in production. So uh, perhaps you have heard about a decreased production because we need to um, stop this uh, engine of production for one time. So what we will uh, change in from the economy, uh, it's the one that I was telling in circular economy, when we create a product, we need to find that uh, there is no end and that we are going to a circular economy and not linear. So when we make and think about product, we need to think about the production, the distribution, and how it will die. So it's very important in the uh, process of efficiency and cost in all of this. Um, smarting building. So in this um, uh, start, we will speak that it's very important also in the way that we are doing actually um, all this uh, building because it's important for the production. High efficiency lighting, heating and cooling for commercial residential building is very important. So that's reason why now we find new startups that are working in sharing, for example, building like this, they have the same vehicles, the same bicy, and they also have the same heating and cooling way in the residential building. So it's very great for a smart management energy consumption. They are again using sensor and smart device, uh, again with mob mobile. So we are always getting to the same way of technology. EA analyze is very important also in a data and app control for consumers. So um, we will say that the mobile uh, enable M2M uh, 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 technology is very important because that's answering data and also control. So that's something that is very important, but not only for consumer, but also for a B2B um, um, efficiency. Uh, we need also to emphasize to constrict and reduce waste on site because the problem that we have is a lot of production and a lot of waste. So now we are trying to uh, um, understanding that waste could be a resource and what we can make with this waste and trying to find something of making a resource. And that's very important because now we can see a lot of new startup also working in this method, which is to use waste from uh, industrialists um, uh, company and trying to make a new resource with it. So uh, all these kind of uh, activity are very important in, in the way that we can fight a climate uh, change. Uh, what I was saying also, modular construction with new material, for example, air can uh, work in construction, but also a lot of things like cork, cork from here uh, uh, um, for Abicor case, which help also uh, to make a better uh, construction and uh, not uh, the one that is harmful. The other technology that I didn't speak about, which is very important, is uh, 3D printing, imagery and computing. Uh, what I was saying also, which is very important, is the smart health, because we are speaking about uh, what is um, um, 
an impact uh, about uh, getting pollution, getting harmful uh, fire, uh, getting uh, temperature of the ocean getting uh, up, uh, Arctic that uh, losing is uh, uh, ice. But we are forgetting sometimes to speak that all of this has an effect of uh, in the health of human, but not only human, also in animals. So uh, in this, I will say that is the biggest Else, threat facing unima, uh, humanity. Climate change is the worst that the human uh, can face today. Um, so, in this, we have like a mobile basing health platform that really help, for example, to. Um, uh, to succeed to avoid emission through the use of mobile technology. As I said, mobile technology is very important and more for developing country also to get some remote monitoring patient, for example, using M2M technology. So M2M technology is good in agriculture, in health, in energy, in all kinds of technology. So it's very important that we follow using this to fight the climate change. Reducing uh, both travel, for example, for health profit Professional because like this, it have a monitoring remote way. And during the pandemic, you, we were really a bit of uh, um, uh, working and um, monitoring by the remote way of speaking as we are doing now in a webinar. I'm in France and you are in Australia. Uh, so it's very important to use this kind of technology uh, for professional, for example, and patients and uh, make uh, uh, to get led people, for example, in hospital. Uh, but also in the healthcare network infrastructure is very important, allowing healthcare professional uh, quick and easy uh, access to inform and answering best patient care, hospital appointment to be booked, for example, electronically. So it's very uh, great to have this. And we have a lot of new startups that are working also in this kind of uh, of proposal and also uh, as Moon we are doing to get, for example, in a, um, far away people in a rural that cannot access, do it off grid. And that's very great that we can do it with data in this time. Um, environment, the last one that I will say because of the pandemic is environmental epidemiology, which is will be very, very important in the future as innovation. Climate change supports a trait of human health. Uh, in a large uh, amount of factor and the remote spaces are displayed from their natural environment. So I think that we will have a lot of technology and innovation in environmental epidemiology for the next uh, years. Um, in the manufacturing, uh, it's very important also, as I was saying before, um, for me, manufacturing is speaking about activity and action to reduce, reuse, and manage waste um, for pollution. A better management of waste is a key role to succeed a climate change. It's very important to avoid this kind of production and try to remove the waste that we have and making a resource of it. The creation of low GHA alternative to traditional input like chemical, steel and plastic, we really need to find a new materials. So I'm repeating myself, but uh, there are, uh, if you need to remember something from this uh, webinar in part of my presentation is uh, circular economy is doing waste as a resource and avoid plastic. Um, it's key in a recycling uh, program for climate change, for example. Developing in manufacturing distribution and of life is reducing material waste for reduce is always better than recycling. We know that. Uh, but when we have to recycle, we need to recycle in a good management way. So we need to improve recycling model and rate uh, everywhere. For example, uh, in plastic, we know that only uh, in Europe, 87% uh, are recycling. That's very low data. So we know that we have to make better uh, recycling everywhere. Uh, recover and regenerate material, including circular economy model, which was uh, what I'm trying to um, uh, present in this uh, presentation, is very important that we are moving to circular economy models and business model and uh, avoid the way that we were working in lineal to fight the climate change. 
so um, we also have a P2P way of resale marketplace, for example, have one with click recycle. It's not to resell, but it's to give. If you have something better than to throwing away, just give it to someone that we need, it, repair it. We need to move to this circular economy model. So it could be person to person, it could be business to business, but we need to make this uh, circular economy work in, uh, in order to save uh, the climate change and and try to reach what we need to reach. Um, we also have a, a recyclable assessment, which is very important. Recycla, uh, here I'm just giving some new uh, startups that I'm a fan of. For example, Recycla provide recycling assessment. Geofluxus offer a waste predilection platform, so it's very good to get data of uh, uh, the amount of waste that are taking place. So please have a look to this uh, great startup because they are very interesting. Or pre recycle advanced sustainable butter recycling, for example. Uh, we love uh, to have a new webinar and speaking about all of these little startups that are so making so great job around and to fight around uh, climate change and all the association of cleanup also like uh, surf rider or um, Ocean Rescue of Parley are already trying to make uh, a change in the way of um, giving and spreading the word and people, P2P, that is very important uh, to take care about the West and how we are dealing our production today or consuming, for example. Okay, as a conclusion, uh, or this first step of the presentation, as climate tech looks uh, to become increasingly mainstream, the number of investors active in this area uh, will need to grow in order to reach this goal. In this, I will say that I will need that as a startup that people uh, get invest uh, to invest in our uh, startups that are making from impact. They are impact startup because their goal is not to get rich, but they are to make a better world and also to fight this uh, climate change. Um, sorry, I was reading something. <laughs> sorry. Uh, from a government and incubator, uh, it's very important also, I was, I was saying that they are getting uh, to invest in this. Oh, oh. This is Reducing the use. Uh, now uh, I'm going to speak about a second part. Okay. We always say that innovation and, and technology is good for climate change. And this is true. But in the other side, um, we always think to, uh, to look at the both sides. We need to reduce technology also. Why? Because um, the way that we are using technology today as person with all the social media, all the website of the mobile, uh, the 5G, everything, making a, a big, um, uh, we'll say, damage also in the planet, reducing the use of, I will not say it's, uh, that we need to reduce technology, but we need to take care of the use of technologies that we have and make it a better uh, way of use. Because if you are using for stupid uh, things that don't have an effect good in the planet, Planet, we are reducing the other technology to make it better uh, with technology. So that's something that uh, more and more we will see that uh, little startup will try to fight and to explain to a company how to make a good digital uh, website, a good digital application, uh, try to avoid uh, to send so much emails and uh, try to make a better use of the technology. Why? To make a lower uh, energy consumption of this technology, because as uh, you can see in this picture, we are using a lot of cloud and these and servers and servers are using a lot of uh, uh, energy and this energy also damage our climate. Um, so that's something that we need to uh, change in our consumption of technology uh, that I think uh, more company and startup will go on that matters, you, you will see. Get my okay. Uh, so uh, here we are speaking about uh, the SDG. I don't know if everyone is knowing um, the SDG, but uh, in what we are 
I'm thinking that they are very important in technology and climate change is uh, uh, regarding farming, uh, zero hunger, which is the second, which is very important. I will always say the third, which is to have a good health and well being. I will say six, which is uh, clean water and sanitation, because with data and the technology, we will be able to, um, uh, to monitoring and uh, register the data and to have a cleaner water. You know that now water is is uh, count in the um, stock exchange. So uh, that's very uh, important to save water and uh, to try to have a really uh, good technology and innovation in water system management. It's very important. I think the most important with else. Uh, after to have an affordable um, and clean energy, but also industry innovation and uh, infrastructure, as we were speaking, a sustainable city and com communities, climate action for sure. So 14 is with um, also uh, water and uh, life under sea. 15 is about uh, uh, the uh, reforestation, so it's very important. And the last one that I will always say is uh, 17, which is for me the more important in the way that we can succeed to fight this climate change is collaboration. Collaboration is innovation. We really need to collaborate all together. The reason why we need to work uh, person to person, B2B, with administration, uh, with association, with foundation, and all together in every country. Because as I said um, before, local, okay, but local is global. So that's something that we really need. Uh, and uh, to close by, I will say that the more important is the collaboration that we can all do all together because nothing can uh, win us if we are all together. If we are fighting in our place locally, it's not enough. We really need to share data and uh, uh, to get a better um, production and the way of use of technology also, it's very important. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to uh, say in this slide, which is um, uh, when you are typing, your device is using electricity. When you are press, you press and it goes across a network and it takes electricity to return to this network and it's going to end up in storing in the cloud somewhere. People, because they don't so in things that they are not using energy, but these data are using huge, huge energy. So it's very important that we try to focus to have a better use of all of these uh, production that we are doing because technology is good, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, perhaps we make a use of it uh, like a growing, 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 and we try now to uh, reduce this way and do it better. So I don't think that we will see a reduction of technology, but more innovation and perhaps a better responsibility use and consumption of uh, a P2P um, um, technology use as device and content and uh, trying to uh, go outside and not only playing uh, um, like a um, uh, laptop and uh, always doing with their mobile, which is very important because they are using a lot of energy. So various reports suggest that internet energy consumption is likely to double in uh, 2025. So here we just have one thing, which is our society goes unchecked and carry on current un unconsensus conception trajectory. So that's what we have to revert it. Uh, so, uh, as Finai, I would say that uh, I believe in the human, I believe in our technology, and I believe that uh, we need to educate. As um, Mandela was saying, uh, education is the most important uh, things in the humanity. So, teach people, teach company uh, how to build and deploy and run energy efficient tech. That's for me key, and that's the only way that tech can be a good. Uh, for the climate change. Awareness, understanding of how the, uh, our use of technology impacts the planet also. So we need to speak, uh, speak louder and spread the word every day that you can. Uh, involving delivering customer value, considering the rank time of cost is also very important to build um, because they don't get to see the cost of their company and their environment impact. So that's one of other reasons why the company didn't really know. But if you involve 
to speak to the customer and we need to try to make new website more thinking about uh, what we are doing inside but also as uh, uh, people who are working trying to uh, run time cost which is very important because you are do you don't know that no so uh, we need to take uh, care about this new i will say a uh, unit will arise in in company uh, trying uh, to uh, avoid this kind of um, uh, energy consumption into the company, for example. Uh, so it's very important that we get a better behavior, uh, but not only as a, a people, but also as a worker in a company, for example, because across technical application data, business or enterprise architecture discipline are already focused on making a better consumption in terms of um, using energy in this. So here I put some example application which are only require in business, however, for example, which is uh, will need to be uh, 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 turned off. Okay, that's important. User interface, which request data from service thousand times more than they need to. So we will need to rethink about this interface uh, or the way that we are doing this data. And it's very important in this uh, EA, uh, intelligence artificial, uh, because in this case, we will see how we can produce better uh, our database and uh, uh, reduce uh, this kind of uh, energy consumption. System are relevant of the uh, terabyte, I would say, of data are generating volumes of data unnecessary. Uh, for example, you can saw it when we, we speak about cookie, delayed, delayed, delayed. So uh, we need to have a better system and really into terabytes of data also, which is very important because if data is important for technology, as we were saying at the beginning of this webinar, which is very important also, it's that we have a good use of making this data proficiency. So it's very important of how we are building this database and what is important and get rid of uh, volume of data unnecessary. Um, software, which are copy uh, other system implementation of business, for example, are uh, uh, working with customer to deliver self service, which need then, which meet their needs in the best way possible. So that's something that is better. The so creation and maintenance of multiple uh, system and service and code, how we are coding also will be very important in the future. We provide identical functionality rather than one system used by everyone. So we, we can see that in this move of so we will have a lot of innovation and that's very important to speak uh, uh, to speak about. Um, so, um, a responsible uh, technology is for me something that is three prediction for the future and very important in the climate change fight. Um, the essence of responsibility investment in technology, but not only in technology, but also in the use of how we are using technology, targeting technologic regulation because it's only the beginning you will see that we are going to have a lot of regulation technology because we need to make this use the, tech, the technology will mandatory in university also which will be very important we will see that we are going to a new trend this trend is ethic technology uh, in the way that we will be mandatory in university and also our education system uh, um, um, okay, because uh, we are here to help, so uh, we have to decide if it's, uh, we want to establish a technology of a consumer framework. So I'm sure that we will find a yin yang situation, equilibrium of how to use this technology and how to be responsible of this technology use uh, to make it a better preservation. Because the main problem to face is to economic system, which live in unstable. So we really need to focus on how we are doing things and um, make a better um, um, imagination of how we can do it as a human because where we are very um, good is in innovating and in creative. So it's very important that we use our this two qualities in order to make a better use of, you know, uh, of innovation and technology, and also in how we are using it in production management distribution in all these kind of, of things and management, for example.
because the sustainability of the planet will continue to decline if we don't do so.